Hey friends, now start our new topic which is kind of uh, voltage drop and the potential difference. We will see what's the difference between these two quantities. So let's open again our smooth draw sheet. So what is a voltage drop? It's quite simple. For example, if we have resistance here and if we resistance is equal to 1 ohm and here applied voltage for example is equal to 10 volts okay and and if uh, okay if the current flowing through this resistance is 1 ampere so voltage drop across this resistance will be equal to v equal to i into r so I into R and it will be equal to 1 volt. 1 volt. So voltage drop is kind of thing that if any source is applying voltage like uh, 10 volts or 100 volts for example now if through it's supplying through some resistance to a load okay as our example so here supply voltage is 100 and this is the load so let's suppose this is our resistance here which is 1 ohm so 1 volt will drop across it because 1 ampere is flowing through it so there will be a drop in voltage which is equal to 1 volt across the resistor and the voltage received at this point will be equal to 99 volts okay so this is kind of a concept of a voltage drop that we are using in our um, terminology so this is the concept of voltage drops it means there were some supplied voltages and some voltage drop will drop across the resistor the remaining voltage will be feeding to the next circuit so here you can see this is the load voltage and we have one resistance through which we are supplying the load and if one ampere is flowing here then the one voltage uh, one volt will drop across it and you will get 99 volts here so this is a good example of uh, basically the voltage drop now if you see now the next term that we will discuss or we have to find out is like uh, potential difference so potential difference is is basically the difference of potential between two points it called as a potential difference so if we i select for example the one point here and one point here in the system so here you can see the voltage applied here is 100 so the voltage potential at this point is equal to 100 okay we have calculated that one volt will drop will drop across the resistance the potential at this point is 99 volt so this is the potential at 99 because one volt is dropping and this same potential is appearing at the load terminal so potential difference the difference of potential between these two points will be equal to 100 minus 99 it will equal to 1 volt so this is the example of potential difference so there is a 1 voltage drop, drop across this resistor and the potential difference is also 1 volt here but there, there is a case where it could be different for example if you take a multi voltmeter and you connect across a AC source okay so this source here for example is again of 100 volts okay and you apply this you connect this voltmeter across this so in this case ideally they will the current here will equal to zero the current 
across this source if we have ideal voltage source uh, ideal voltmeter which has an infinite resistance the current will be zero because nothing is connected we have connected only the voltmeter and but the voltmeter will show the reading 100 volt 100 volt is not the voltage drop here so v is equal to ir so it means v is equal to voltage drop here is zero but here we have difference of potential because this source is this is at 100 volt potential here is 100 and here the potential is zero so potential difference across this source is 100 volts so you can see the potential difference across the source will be equal to 100 volts so there is a very small difference between these two drums sometimes the voltage drop could be the same as the potential difference okay and sometimes the voltage drop is not same as the potential difference because i have just explained you in this case potential drop is one volt and voltage difference is and the voltage drop is also one volt but if you see, take the example of voltage source if you connect it to a voltmeter in this case there is no voltage drop there is no load current so v is equal to ir will be zero but there will be a potential difference across this source so this was a little example and it will just increase your knowledge a bit to understand potential difference and voltage drop calculations i hope you enjoy my lecture uh, in next lecture we will understand the concept of source and load voltages thank you very much